So right now we are in Sanchez, my new restaurant, and it's filled with Danish furniture, um, a little bit of kind of Mexican culture. You can see some cactus and some funny decorations that we've brought from friends. The reason I'm in Copenhagen is I was offered a job at uh, Noma and I simply just took it. So I came here on a whim. So I had an idea of the restaurant I was going into, but I didn't really have an understanding of the culture that I was about to step into. So I left Noma in 2015 and decided to open a taqueria. So I wanted to have uh, a place that people can hang out in and eat and not worry about standing up and eating and all of that. But I also wanted to have an opportunity to use all of the stuff that I've learned in my career and make some nice decisions to make uh, some tasty food based on Mexican flavors. So very quickly I began to look at a restaurant setting, uh, which where we are now. From a young age, I knew cooking was something that I wanted to do. And for me, it was always about um, following paths to places that enlightened me and I had moved to New York to a place where you know, I thought that would be the best place for competition and, and learning. Um, and I left New York very tired. I really love living here and I know I work a lot, but I actually, I really enjoy the little time I do have off. I actually feel like I'm off and I'm enjoying the city and the people around me. Um, and I especially love biking. I love biking to work. I think that the Danes are a very calm people and I think I found that as a, an inspiration to just not be so, I want to say, New York. <laughs> like when I first came from New York I was a little bit uh, on edge all the time. Uh, so I, I really like that calmness. All of these things I think wouldn't have happened outside of Copenhagen.